So when I'm trying to figure out what I think might happen in the future, I take into consideration, number one, my dreams and my visions. So I go back and I look at, at what I've been seeing in my visions. And, um, and I can just tell you in general, um, like I've been having dreams since 1995 of um, the earth catching on fire, um, having something to do with um, another object. It, um, you can go watch that dream that I had. Um, I had a dream about a, a red moon as well. Um, back then, I had... Um, um, dreams also in 95 I think it's in here I had dreams about a large um, tsunami hitting Los Angeles and then later I had visions about that so that's some of that I had um, in here I had visions about um, a large pinkish object that looked like a three-quarter full moon except it was huge it was much larger than a full moon and it was kind of pinkish in color and I saw that in a vision, and it was in the daytime sky, and people were fainting from the sight of it. I also saw an, a small object hit the earth, which maybe the, it was the meteorite that hit Russia. I don't know. But I did see that in a vision um, back in 2010, 2011. I also saw um, what looked to me like a pole shift. So maybe that was the axis shift that occurred in 2011 but then maybe something much bigger is coming because I've seen these tsunamis and I um, I will say that a lot of times I'll see things in my visions that are much bigger than what they actually are when they happen so for example when I had the vision of the Japan event I saw a huge tsunami that was like over three stories tall but the way that I saw it in my vision was I saw it occurring in my neighborhood where I was living at the time, which was in Brooklyn. But what ended up happening was that it ended up happening in Japan. But if you think about it, that's probably, I don't know how tall that tsunami was. I just know that over 20,000 people died. And so it's, it's almost like I, I, I saw the vision as though I was going through it. So it's much more, um, I have an emotional connection to these things because I feel like I went through it and I know how huge it was for those people that went through it. I mean, it was the end of the world for them. And so I know that other people that don't go through it and they don't see the visions or the dreams of it think it's, you know, they just kind of blow it off and they forget about it. But I don't. I never do because for me it was real. I felt it. I actually went through it. So, um... I know that I've been having, I saw a tsunami like that again coming from the west, hitting the west coast. And I've had that several times, a huge tsunami hitting the west coast. So that's something else that I've seen. Um, I saw the vision of the Los Angeles earthquake, which was, a, which was a landslide. I know that many other people have had dreams and visions of that. I've had several, remember I said the number of dr dreams and visions has something to do with it. I had so many I can't even count. I had so many dreams about that Los Angeles tsunami and earthquake. I've had so many visions of the tsunami and the earthquake and and the power outage and the, and it's sliding into the ocean and just everything. I've had, there's so many, like I said, I can't even count. So that's a possibility of something that's coming that hasn't happened yet. Um, um, I've had so many visions of the rapture that, again, I can't even count it. So, I mean, I fully 100% believe in that because I know the visions are coming true and I know I've had so many visions of that. And as far as I know, I only had one dream about it, which is kind of bizarre. But... Um, I've also had visions of something that seems like a war, maybe, uh, between the East and the West. I've seen several visions where I'm shown the, an angel show, pointing to the East and the West and showing a clashing. And I've seen visions where there's fighting and there's a war, there's war going on. 
um, on the earth fighting. So, I mean, we could be looking at something like that, a war. Um, again, I've seen those visions of an asteroid strike. Maybe it was the meteorite in Russia. I'm not really sure. I know that one of the astrophysicists actually described that meteorite as an asteroid. I don't know if you guys caught that. I think I saved the video in my playlist, Meteors. But he actually called that meteorite a, an asteroid, and he knows what he's talking about. So I thought that was kind of bizarre. Um, so some of the other um, visions that I've seen are of these missiles, and this is another one that I've seen several times of the um, the missiles that are I've seen them buried in the ocean off California. I've seen. Um, I'm trying to remember. I mean, you can go back and and look at these and see what it was that that I saw, but I know that I've heard other people that have seen um, things like that on te in television shows that show missiles coming out of the ocean. So I don't know if, I mean, I have seen several visions about the missiles that are buried. Um, so I'm not sure, you know, that's another possibility that we're talking about war coming. I know that I think it was Ezekiel that talked about the flesh um, coming off of it. I'm not trying to scare anybody. I'm just trying to give you a heads up about what might be coming up. Um, but I know that I think it was Ezekiel who described the, that the flesh melted off their faces. So he was describing a nuclear event. Um, so we might be looking at something like that coming up. Um, I also saw all a ton of visions about these weird metallic boxes that were put inside of people's bodies. I know it sounds just like the weirdest thing you've ever heard in your life. And I promise you, I'm not making it up. It is. It's so weird. And I don't know what it is. And it is Jesus that's been showing me it. So, and he's very upset. He was very upset about it. And it looked like it was some kind of zombie thing. Like they were reanimating human bodies. I know it sounds so weird, but I swear I've had so many visions about that. So I don't know what's going on with that, but I have to tell you because I've had a lot of visions about that one. And not only that, but you've seen how the media keeps talking about zombies and it's so weird and everybody laughs about it, but I don't know. There's something weird going on with that because I've been seeing a lot of um, stuff having to do with that. Um... Then, you know, I've seen stuff having to do with Las Vegas, and I know other people have talked about it. I saw, like, a big power outage in Las Vegas. I saw um, I saw a big flood in Las Vegas where there was water, and it looked, seemed like it, it, they were, I saw them riding on speedboats through the, on the freeway, but they were riding speedboats instead of cars because the water was so deep. Um, so I saw something like that. Um... And then, um, let's see, I'm trying to remember. I'm going through this playlist here. Some of this stuff already came true. But, um, you know, yeah, a lot of the army stuff, a lot of the war. So it seems like maybe there's a war coming. And I know Revelation 12 talks about a war coming. So, um, and then we have... Um, missiles again, um, armies again, there you go, uh, seeing these things in the sky, something having to do with the sky, like, um, you know, different objects in the sky, I've had all kinds of dreams and visions about that, so many that I can't even count, of objects and weird things going on in the skies, like, you know, um, Look, seeing things in telescopes and visions and see, and having dreams of objects. Um, I just recently had one where Jesus showed me two big circles and then he showed me something hitting, like two pieces of chalk hitting. I'll upload a video about that right after this so you can hear what that's about. But again, a lot of stuff about something in the sky. Um, and then, um, you know, directed energy weapons or something like that. I've had few I've had visions about that. Um, 
and then the nuclear event. I had a vision about a new New York nuclear event, and then I had a, a you know, just a couple weeks ago, I had a vision about um, about a bubble coming off the Earth that I realized later it was like a light bubble, and I realized later it might have been like an atom bomb or something. But I don't know where that one was. But I did see a nuclear event in my vision. I know that several other people have seen. Um, had dreams and visions of nuclear events. Um, I did have a dream about, and it looks like I even had a vision and a dream about Yellowstone. Um, so there's a lot of options when I'm looking through this stuff about what could be coming. I did have a really important vision about the New Madrid that had some fulfillments associated with it that, in, that happened in January. Um, so that could be a warning as well. Um, and I know that one of the visions that I had, and I think it was either the very same day or the next day after I had this New Madrid vision, um, was Jesus um, just, it was a very quick vision, and it was while I was a, a w fully awake walking around the house, it was just a very quick vision, and I saw him take three large steps to the east, and that was at the end of December. So I don't know if that means three months. That would be the end of March. So I don't know if that's what it means, though, or not. It, it might not have anything to do with that. Um, but I just I w thought I'd throw that out there. Um, and then you know, so there's a lot of a lot of things in here that um, you know the shadow figure. I've seen the shadow figure several times. I just saw this shadow figure again in another vision. Um, the shadow figure with the big hole in its in its belly, and then I've I've and then also the white figure. I've seen the white figure rising a couple of times now. Um, I saw the white figure rising out of the New York nuclear event. I saw the white figure um, in something else. I can't remember, but it's in here. So this white figure and the black figure. I've been seeing that a lot lately. So I'm not sure what's going on with that. Um, so that might have something to do with it. I saw something that seemed like it might represent a rapture and a football field below. And you might want to go watch that because it seemed like maybe something was coming. Uh, I thought maybe something coming after the Super Bowl, but I don't know. But you might want to go check out that vision I, sat, I had last July. Um, it has something, I think, maybe that has something to do with an economic collapse because I've been seeing him doing these juggling routines and, and some of my visions that seems to have it. I, coins, and I see, like, coins and stuff. And I think I just had a dream last night that um, I asked someone in my dream how much something was, and they said, oh, it's 5,000 in diamonds. And I was like, huh, 5,000 in diamonds? What are you talking about? So maybe there's some kind of economic thing that's coming because I've had, you know, I had all these synchronicities as well recently, and I just had another one. I'll upload a, a vision about, or a, a video about 320, 321, 322, 311. I keep having all these synchronicities with those numbers. I see them everywhere for some reason, 311 all the time. So that's just what I've been seeing, um, another nuclear bomb vision here. And so um, I just wanted to point out also that this... Um, this uh, this movie trailer that's coming out that remember that on that fulfillment in March of 2011 we had a movie trailer that would seem to be associated with that stuff we were talking about that was released on 3.11.11 the date of the event and we also have a movie that's being released on 3.22 that is kind of associated with this stuff and I'll upload a video about that as well, but that's kind of bizarre. So, I mean, um, that's just what I look at when I'm trying to figure out, okay, what is actually going to happen next? I mean, what's coming? And, of course, all the biblical connections that I've explained. And if you don't know what this chart is, I have a three-part series explaining it. And I, the link is below this video, so please look at that. But... Um, We've seen all these uncanny events that are lining up with this chart as well. So um, again, we have this um, this March 20th through 22nd period that seems to be a, a really big watch date for the start of the tribulation. So um, 
So anyway, just a heads up, um, I'm out of time and I'll let you guys go.